job, mom was starting to live a little. Everyone was feeling so good that we just didn't see it coming. Maybe we should have. The irony is that most of the stores that were destroyed during the riots were owned by black people. That's stupid, though. I mean, why trash your own neighborhood? Well, that's my point. It's an irrational act. It's like an expression of rage by people who feel neglected and turned away by the system. Exactly. I mean, it's like we had in Watts or right. the riots in Chicago in 68. That's crap. I don't buy that for a minute. Calling a riot a, an irrational expression of rage, that's such a cop-out. It's opportunism at its worst. It's, it's a bunch of people grabbing any excuse they can find to go and loot a store, nothing more. You know, the fact that these people ripped off the stores in their own communities, all that reflects is the degree to which these people have absolutely no respect for the law at all, and certainly no concept of, like, community or, or civic responsibility. Wait a minute. White people commit crimes against white people, too. Yeah, but they're not offing each other in record numbers all over America. Look at the statistics, for Christ's sakes. It's one in every three black males is in some phase of the correctional system. Is that a coincidence, or do these people have, you know, like a racial commitment to crime? <laughs> Well, not only that, they're proud of it. Well, maybe it says something about prejudice in the judicial system. Yeah, if you want to talk about criminal statistics, you might want to take a look at the social inequalities that produce them. Yap, yap. You know what? That's exactly what I hate. Because what you're doing, Davina, is taking one thing and calling it something else and just, you know, alleviating the responsibility that these people have for their own actions. You know, it's like saying, it's not a riot, it's rage. It's not crime, it's poverty. It's, it's just nonsense. It's bullshit. You know, it's exactly what happened in this trial, too, because the media twisted things around, so people got all focused on, you know, these cops and whether or not they were going to get convicted and whether Rodney King's civil rights had been violated. I mean, everybody lost sight of old Rodney King himself. I mean, the guy's a multiple felon. By his own admission, he's high as a goddamn kite, driving 120 miles an hour down the highway. He gets pulled over by a bunch of cops, and, and, and he attacks them. He attacked police officers. That's the bottom line. And he walked. Yeah, and there's some Yahoo there with a video camera who turned it on halfway through so that all we see is them hitting him. Exactly. You know, you got your pal and coon winding up and cracking him with billy clubs and Bersanio kicking him in the back of the skull. So it looks severe, you know? And people are going, oh, this poor guy. This poor guy who attacked four cops and those cops end up on the stand defending themselves for using absolutely standard textbook self-defense procedures. I don't think that the tape showed that at all. Oh, you didn't think so, huh? And what, you're an authority, Ma? <laughs> Murray, what do you think? Well, I, I did think that the police used their clubs rather excessively. Who are you to say what's excessive? I think it was totally appropriate. I think they're in a better position to make that judgment call than you are. In fact, we as society grant cops a certain amount of authority to make those calls because we acknowledge that, that their job is difficult and dangerous. You know, unfortunately, very few people like respect that or respect that authority. Look who's talking about respect here, Mr. Junior KKK. Oh, what? Hey, what? Hey, you know what? You want to go to college, Derek. Davina? You should learn to listen. Derek. Okay? I didn't say I respect the laws. I acknowledge a cop's authority. I don't respect any laws that let monkeys like Rodney King back on the street. Second of all, I am not, as you well know, a member of a low-rent, disorganized bunch of rednecks like the fucking KKK, <laughs> please. Oh, so really. take your head out of your ass. I mean, you've gotten off the point. <laughs> I had a point. I, that wasn't even the point. Do I, you have one? What is your point, Derek? All right, think about this. Think about this. If Danny had been walking across the street that night and Rodney King had plowed into Can him... Can we just drop this Rodney King thing? Discussion. I'm having a nice discussion, right? If Rodney King had been driving along, hopped up on Shivas Regal and PCP, and had killed Danny, you'd be singing a very different tune about the force of those cops. I didn't see anybody in the tapes, and neither did you. He didn't happen to kill anybody, thank God. Put it down, okay? Allie's sleeping. If he had, though, I mean, come on, think about it. If that fucking monkey had run some kid over, everybody would have a very different opinion of this whole matter. You know, they'd be focused on, on Rodney King and not on these officers, but instead, he just attacked a few cops. And so all of a sudden, it's hands across America for this fucking total son of a bitch. I mean, it blows my mind. We're so hung up on this notion that we have some obligation to help this struggling black man, you know, cut him some slack until he can overcome these historical injustices. It's crap. This stuff you guys are saying just perpetuates it. All this liberal nonsense, you know, everyone's turning and looking the other way while our country rots from the inside out. I mean, Christ, Lincoln freed the slaves. What, like... 130 years ago, how long does it take to get your act together?
Well, Jews have been persecuted for over 5,000 years. Are you saying that it's wrong to feel sensitive about anti-Semitism? No, oh, forget that. I'm with you. I'm with you all the way, baby. I'm so sick of these liberal hypocrites. Oh, here we go again. I love this part. This hey, is great. Hey. Well, look at the way that this scapegoat to Chief Gates. I mean, you tell me they would have come down that hard on Black Willie Williams. Exactly. No way, because that videotape would have set us to get rid of Gates. Excuse? Yes. No, no, you cannot. Don't interrupt. Excuse me, I was talking. I, I listened to you. Don't interrupt her. Who the hell do you think you are? She's right in the middle of making a point. Who the hell do you think you are? Hey, Davina, sit down. Derek, sit down. Derek, Derek, be Derek. quiet. Shut up. Derek, no, Derek, sit down. Derek, no. Derek, calm down. Shut up. Don't tell shut him up. to shut up. No, sit your ass down. You move. No, you got my sit way. down. Derek. Shut Derek. your mouth. Derek. 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 No. God damn it, Derek. Sit move. down. Shut, shut your mouth fuck and give your girlfriend some respect. Derek, what are you trying to prove? Murray, stay out of it. Come here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. Derek, Derek. Let her go. Derek, let her go. You. you need to learn some fucking manners, Davina. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Stop! She can't breathe! Let her go! Are you gonna apologize? Are you gonna apologize? Are you? You're a fucking asshole. I hate you! This is your family. Right, my family, my family. So you know what? I don't give two shits about you or anybody else or what you think. You're not a part of it and you never will be. That has nothing to do with it. Oh, it doesn't? You don't think I see what you're trying to do here? You think I'm gonna sit here and smile while some fucking kike tries to fuck my mother? It's never gonna happen, Murray. Fucking forget it, not on my watch, not while I'm in this family. I will fucking cut your Shylock nose off and stick it up your ass before I let that happen coming in here and poisoning my family's dinner with your Jewish, nigger-loving, hippie bullshit? Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, walk out. Asshole, fucking Kabbalah-reading motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my house. You see this? That means not welcome. You do. disgust me, you know what that? You I disgust do? me. Bring him what to our table and crimp in your do? hair and your dress. What did you just, I don't do? touch me. You all tarred it up. What did tarted I do up to that. How could you bring him to my father's table? How could you go from dad to that? Aren't you ashamed? I'm ashamed that you came out of my body. Go run to your fucking kite. Go run to him.